for you now. Hi, I'm Jennifer. Welcome back to my channel, the CRPS Network. Today I'm going to be talking about how does CRPS spread? Really, doctors are unsure as to how it spreads or why it spreads. However, there are a few risk factors that can make spreading more probable or riskier. Some of these ways are, the first way is with lack of treatment. If you have CRPS and you've just decided you're gonna ignore it and you're not going to take any medications for it, do any physical therapy, any treatments whatsoever, uh, it can really start running rampant. And this happens a lot with people that are unsure that they even have CRPS, they haven't been diagnosed yet. All they know is they start out with, say, an ankle sprain and slowly but surely it starts going up their leg they experience pain in their knee and then their hip and they don't understand what's going on but it can really start spreading quickly if you don't get it under control and start getting it treated okay the next way that can cause spreading is with a new injury and this is could be anywhere on your body but uh, if you've had an initial injury that caused your CRPS, say in your right ankle, and you fell down and broke your le left wrist, it could spread to that area. So just future injuries, being careful about getting injured, and it has been shown that if you do have a new injury, taking vitamin C, 500 milligrams a day, for about a month can help reduce the risk of CRPS spreading to the site of the new injury. So if you do have a new injury, keep that in mind. Okay, the next risk factor or way that you can have spreading of CRPS is with needle pokes. So avoiding any needle pokes that you can. Sometimes I know this is unavoidable if you have to get a needle poke, really kind of weigh the benefits and the risks of, you know, if it's not really necessary, you might wanna pass on whatever type of test or reason they need to poke you. If it's absolutely necessary, asking your doctor for the smallest needle, um, putting some numbing cream on it before to help numb the area can also be a couple of ways that you could reduce your risk of spreading with needle pokes. I myself have had some spreading uh, to other limbs because of needle pokes and IVs being placed, so I definitely know that this can happen. Another tip I have is if you are gonna be having an IV placed, you may ask for what's called Emla cream. It's also known as lidocaine, predocaine cream. And what this can do is just numb the skin in that area. And I use it a lot for my port when I'm getting infusions. Uh, I put some on about two hours before I'm gonna be poked. And when I am poked, I don't feel a thing. So it's absolutely wonderful. Okay, the next way that can cause CRPS to spread is just stress. Stress is, can be our worst enemy. So controlling your stress, keeping your nervous system in a calm state is really important. And you can do this through meditating or you know, um, calm breathing, uh, other ways to get yourself in a calm state. All right, and the last way that CRPS could spread is really no reason at all. Some people just spontaneously have spreading. They don't have any injuries. They don't have any needle pokes, no stress. They just have spreading. And sometimes there really is nothing that you could do to control it. Um, it just for some reason happens with some people and not others. So, um, 
Sometimes you may question, what did I do? And there just may not be an answer. So anyways, trying to keep some of these risk factors in check uh, can be really crucial for us. So being aware of them is important. Anyways, if you found this video helpful today, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. I make new videos every week. So hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to be notified of when I make the next one. Till next time, take care.